क्वेश्चन नंबर नाइन द गवर्निंग इक्वेशन ऑफ द स्टैटिक ट्रांसवर्स डिफ्लेक्शन ऑफ द बीम अंडर यूनिफॉर्मली डिस्ट्रीब्यूटेड लोड अकॉर्डिंग टू द यूलर बर्नौली बीम थ्योरी इज द ऑप्शन बी इज द राइट आंसर बिकॉज इट इज द फोर्थ ऑर्डर ऑर्डिनरी डिफरेंशियल इक्वेशन देर इज नो पार्शियल डिफरेंशिएशन सो देर इज ऑनली वन टर्म एंड ऑल्सो in the equation equal to is non zero term so the overall equation is the fourth order linear non homogeneous ordinary differential equation so option b is the right answer question number 10 the poisson's ratio of most aircraft grade metallic alloys having the value option c is the correct answer the poisson's ratio value lies between 0.2 to 0.4 usually 0.33 so this range is the correct we don't use the value more than this and also the poisson's ratio with value of 0 or negative is also not used question number 24 In semi-monocoque construction of aircraft wing, the skin and spar webs are the primary carrier of. For example, this is a wing. If we take some portion and see, we will see there is a spars which is running throughout the span, and also the skin of the wing. As the wing is subjected to the lift forces, which is aerodynamic force, and due to these forces and the weight of the aircraft wing causes the wing to bend also so there is a moment component and the spar web are efficient in carrying the shear stresses and also skin also subjected to shear force which is like dragging force hence the skin panel also carry the shear stresses so d is the right answer shear stresses due to aerodynamic forces and a moment component question number 25 the logarithmic decrement measured for a viscously damped single degree of freedom system is given logarithmic decrement denoted by delta 0.125 we have to find the value of damping factor in percentage damping factor or damping ratio is denoted by e the formula for the logarithmic decrement is 2 pi e divided by square root of 1 minus e square where e is the damping ratio we have to find the value of e 0.125 equal to 2 pi e One minus e square. After solving this, we will get the value of e, which is equal to zero point zero one nine eight nine. In percentage, e equal to one point nine eight nine percent. So from the given options, the value of e in percentage is closer to two. so the option d is correct question number 44 an arrays stress function is given for a thin square panel of size l by l which automatically satisfy the compatibility equation if the panel is subjected to uniform stress of sigma not on all the four edges we have to find the boundary condition which satisfy the given state of stress we know that the stress in x direction is given by partial differentiation of arrays stress function with respect to y two times stress in y direction is equal to partial differentiation of arrays stress function with respect to x two times and the shear stress is given by minus 
partial differentiation of Aries stress function with respect to x and with respect to y. But in the given question, the shear stress is zero. Sigma x will be equal to sigma naught and sigma y will be equal to sigma naught. So we have to differentiate Aries stress function two times for getting the value of the stress in x direction. After first time differentiation, we will get beta x plus 2 gamma y. Now we are again differentiating this with respect to y. We will get 2 gamma. So gamma will be equal to sigma naught by 2. So only option A contains this value. Now let's check sigma y should be equal to sigma naught. Now we are differentiating the Aries stress function with respect to x. We will get 2 alpha x plus beta y. Now we again differentiate with respect to x. We will get 2 alpha. And sigma y is equal to sigma naught. So alpha should be equal to alpha naught by 2. So option A is the correct answer. Question number 45 based on the longitudinal vibration. In this question, we have to tell what is the change or by what factor the natural frequency changes when the boundary condition is changed from the fixed fixed end to the fixed free end. This is the formula for the natural frequency for the fixed free end and this is the formula for the fixed fixed end. For the fundamental frequency, the value of n is 0 for the fixed free and for the fixed fixed n is equal to 1. You have to divide let's say fixed free divided by fix fix and we have to put the value of 0 for the fixed free for the fundamental frequency this will give and divided by this here n equal to 1 so we will get 1 by 2 question number 46 a spring mass and viscously damped system is given you have to find the energy dissipated per cycle for a harmonic disturbance of x cos omega dt for a viscous dam system the energy dissipated is equal to rate of change of work this is equal to power force into velocity and the damping force in case of viscous damping system is given by c into v velocity so the energy dissipated will be equal to cv square so velocity can be written as dx by dt whole square so we have to integrate in order to find the dissipated energy t equal to 0 to 2 pi omega d because 2 pi by t equal to omega d in order to find the dissipated energy we have to integrate from 0 to a time t which is equal to 2 pi omega d c into dx by dt whole square multiple of dt 
now we have to put the value of dx by dt which would be equal to 0 to 2 pi cx square omega d cos square omega d t d omega d t after solving this integration we will get pi c omega d x square this is the energy dissipated per cycle from this equation we can say that the energy dissipated is proportional to the square of the amplitude of the motion of the motion so option a will be the correct answer question number 47 the buckling of fuselage skin can be delayed by as we know the overall structure of the aircraft is made up of very thin aluminium sheet or other materials but the thickness is very low so we are assuming the fuselage as a bottle in first case the internal pressure is equal to atmospheric pressure and outside pressure is also atmospheric pressure if we try to buckle it by applying the forces from top and the bottom when we compare the another bottle having more pressure p plus delta p greater than the atmospheric pressure we will find that the force required to buckle this bottle with internal pressure of p is less compared to the force which is required to buckle this bottle hence when we are increasing the internal pressure the buckling of the fuselage can be delayed let's consider other options for example option b when we are placing the stiffeners further apart for example this is the fuselage and these are the stiffeners which is running through its length of the fuselage and this is another fuselage with less stiffeners and the stiffeners are further apart so when we are try to apply the force in order to buckle the fuselage the buckling force will be higher in this case where the number of stiffeners are more and more closer to each other compared to this the option a is the correct answer by increasing the internal pressure we can delay the buckling of the fuselage Question number 54 A thin walled spherical vessel is given with diameter of 1000 mm or 1 meter and thickness is given 10 mm the material yield at a stress of 500 megapascal in both tension and compression we have to find the value of the internal pressure based on the yield criteria we know that the stress due to internal pressure in case of a spherical vessel is given by p d by 40 so we can find the value of pressure internal pressure 500 into 4 into thickness divided by 1000 we will get the value of 20 mega pascal option d is the correct answer in question number 55 if the vessel is evacuated means the internal pressure is zero and it is subjected to the external pressure yielding according to von Mises yield criteria we have to find at what pressure the yielding will occur and we know the von Mises criteria sigma 1 square plus sigma 2 square minus sigma 1 sigma 2 which is equal to yield stress square here sigma 1 and sigma 2 are the principal stresses and for the spherical vessel sigma 1 equal to sigma 2 which is nothing but p d by 40 we have to put the value of sigma 1 and sigma 2 here so we will get p 
pd by 40 square plus pd by 40 square minus these value are same then pd by 40 plus square equal to 500 square yield stress is given which is equal to 500 so we can find the value of pressure 500 into 4 thickness is same 10 and diameter is 1000 millimeter we will get the value of 20 megapascal so at the same pressure yielding will occur so option c is the right answer